It is time to let go. Take a moment to remind yourself that this is the time for you to meditate and soothe your soul. You deserve time to realign your mind with your spiritual self. Remember, meditation is self-care. So, when you are ready, lay on your back with your legs slightly apart. Your arms should be straight, not locked, but comfortably at your sides. Palms down, fingers unclenched. Rest your head on something comfortable and tilt your head back And if you haven't already, close your eyes. Breathe. Don't try to find any kind of pattern. Simply follow your natural flow. Inhale and exhale. Inhale and exhale. If you find your mind wandering, simply try to come back to my voice. Thank your consciousness for caring about you, but gently remind it that now is the time for you to connect with your spiritual higher self. Embrace concerns, worries, and expectations, then let them drift away. You can always return to them later. Focus on the remaining tension in your feet. Rotate your ankles slightly in a soothing, gentle motion. When you are ready, slow to a stop. And imagine the cool release creeping up your legs through your midsection, releasing any tension knotted in your stomach. 
This cool wave is now washing over your chest. Feel the gentle lapping over your heart, up your neck, washing away any pain in your physical form. Let your body exist as it is, in the perfection that you are now. You are present in this moment. Take a moment to inhale deeply and allow this power to wash over your face, coming to a focus between your brows. You can feel the tingling sensation come to a crest and you embrace your third eye opening. When you are ready, take a deep breath Follow the current and let go. The sound of birds singing to one another fills the humid, jungle air. The sky is painted shades of yellow and pink as the sun begins to set. You are standing at the jungle's edge. Before you, thick branches, vines and trees are intertwined so tightly you can barely see the sunbeams filter through the leaves. You can sense the reverberations of life filling the landscape before you. You can sense power here, residing in the rainforest. It beckons to you. It is why you are here now. Feel the soft, damp carpeting moss beneath your feet. It is spongy and soft, cushioning you. Listen closely to the sounds of the tropics and understand what you are preparing for. Inhale the fresh air. Inhale. And exhale. Inhale. 
and exhale. You outstretch your left hand to the rainforest before you, and the singing of the birds slows to a stop. Your palm tingles, and you could feel the energy from before, the one that brought you here, well at the center of your palm. The air is electric, the hairs on your arm stand upright, and goosebumps prickle. A deep rumbling noise bubbles from the earth below. Birds flutter from the canopy, abandoning their post. The ground shakes beneath your feet. In awe, you watch as the trees before you sway. In a fluid motion, their trunks sweep to the side, curving and twisting to create a path through the underbrush. This path was made for you. The jungle stands silent for a heartbeat. You take a moment to steady yourself, thanking the universe for providing you with a clear path to your destination. The tingling at your palm slowly begins to fade. Bird song tentatively returns, a response to your gratitude. You acknowledge this as you begin your trek through the rainforest. Roots tangle the moss-covered ground below, but they do not slow you. Your feet seem to remember this path as if you've been here a thousand times before. With each step, a sense of belonging fills your chest. You were meant to be here. The wildlife watches you with bright, curious eyes. They know where you are headed and are excited for your journey. Colorful, tiny frogs hop by, bouncing between lush plants. Ants march along tree branches, each of them proudly carrying supplies for the colony. Long shadows filter from the branches and the leaves above, obscuring almost all of the remaining sunlight. You welcome the night. In fact, you are empowered by it.
In the dim haze, a single, last dying sunbeam shines through the canopy above your trail. Entranced, you follow like a moth to a flame. A tree trunk rests along the side of the path. Embedded into the rotting stump is the end of a long staff. It was left here for you. It is yours. What does it look like? Is it smooth, polished oak wood engraved with runes? Or is it made with crystals glowing with power? Perhaps something else entirely. It can be an old, reliable friend or something new. Take a moment to picture your staff clearly in your mind. Outstretching your left hand, the sensation returns to your fingertips. Power reverberates through you as you grasp it firmly, pulling it from the stump and bringing it to your side. The movement feels natural and the staff is light in your hands. It fills you with new energy. The top of the scepter begins to glow in the gloom, helping light your path. You thank the universe for reuniting the two of you. You start back down the pathway as the sun finally dips beneath the surrounding trees. The sound of birdsong begins to cease as they nestle together for the night. Soon, the silence is overtaken by the soft chirping of insects. It fills the air like music as fireflies begin to dance in the shadows, illuminating the path at your feet. They seem to be following you. Their yellow glow is soft and comforting. You can feel your destination drawing closer as the pathway grows wider and the trees become infinitely taller. The flashing of your guides grows brighter, urging you onwards. You rush down the path as it opens to a clearing, coming to a halt to absorb the sight before you. In the sky, a gigantic full moon has already crested over the treetops. It shines down on you, the glow bathing everything in a milky white light. Thousands of stars decorate the sky, sparkling and shimmering. 
At the very center of this clearing is a temple. From the underbrush, the fireflies from before rush outwards, rushing past you. They take their place at the tall stairway, leading to the entrance of the sacred building, continuing to mark your path. You follow and stand at the bottom of the decrepit staircase. Vines and plants cover the structure. It is one with the wildlife here. You take your first step up the winding staircase and the tip of your staff glows brighter. With each step, the jungle becomes more alive, encouraging you, beckoning you forward. Insects sing in the tree line, yellow eyes glimmer and reflect from the surrounding light. You are not afraid. You could name every single creature here. They are here for you. You reach the top of the steps and come face to face with an ancient door sealing the entrance to the sanctum. It is covered in runes and inscriptions filled with meaning that only you can interpret. Your staff is almost vibrating with power in your hand. As if something divine is prompting you You lift it to touch the seal at the very center. The entire rainforest seems to hold its breath. You take a moment to steady yourself and focus. Inhale. And exhale. Inhale. And exhale. The all too familiar feeling returns and power floods from your palms again through your staff, causing the symbols to glow and shift. They begin to spin and spiral, forming a dark opening to the sanctum. You turn back to the surrounding landscape before entering, thanking it for being such a gracious and beautiful guide. With a final wave, you turn your back to your sanctuary and enter the dark hallway, 
only guided by the glowing light of your staff. Power fills the air. You can feel it like electricity before a thunderstorm. The hairs on your arm prickle and goosebumps cover your skin. You are not afraid. In fact, you are peaked with curiosity and excitement. You are confident that with whatever you find here will help you through whatever struggles you might be facing. The entryway opens to a great room. The ceiling is impossibly tall, propped up by columns wrapped in ivy and moss. At the very center of the room is an altar covered with white candles. They seem to have never stopped burning. Something inside of you beckons urging you onward. With each step, your staff glows brighter. What else is on the shrine? Do you remember leaving these offerings? Or have they been left from others in your practice? As you approach, you can feel a presence here. Someone has been waiting for you. The feeling of power returns to your body, and you have to steady yourself from how intense it feels. You focus on your breathing. Inhale and exhale. Inhale and exhale. The air in the room shifts. Something changes. You see a movement from the shadows. It is the presence that asked you to come here. They move from the darkness their form taking shape. You are not afraid. You welcome this meeting. You take a moment to listen to what they are here to tell you and ask questions you might need guidance on.
The flames of the candles nearby begin to dim. Your staff fades in and out, marking the beginning of the end. The spirit of the temple notices as well and guides you back to the entrance, sharing the last of their advice with you. The two of you exchange goodbyes, whether it is an embrace or words. They remind you you can always return and seek guidance. The runes from before close and seal behind you, securing your sacred space. You stand outside the temple in the quiet stillness separated but not isolated from your inner sanctum. The jungle is quiet, asleep. You focus on your breathing. Inhale. Inhale and exhale. You feel lighter compared to before. The trees, the sounds of the jungle itself, slowly begin to fade away. You drift, knowing you can always return 